Let's talk about the truth of the Donald Trump criminal trial that's happening right now. So first I want to talk to conservatives. So let's first of all establish a logical baseline of what you can expect to happen just based on how American politics and more importantly, American media operates. So Donald Trump is the guy on the right because the primary election has concluded and he is the candidate. Whether you like him or not, he is the candidate, right? In addition to that, he, his supporters are very, very animated. Um, they love him. I mean, to such a degree that you have grown men who otherwise you might look at as, you know, some of these, some of, some of these guys, I mean, look like they'd be like tough guys, right? Um, but they could demean themselves to the level of, again, with the shirtless, you know, Trump photo t-shirts. Like you're a grown man walking around with a picture of another man with his shirt off. And it's an elderly man looking like Rambo. So, I mean, there's, you know, there's some like sexual preference, questionable stuff going on as well as there's a bit of a juvenile element to it as well. I mean, I wouldn't even wear an actual Rambo t-shirt at the age of 47 years old, <laughs> much less a Rambo t-shirt with some old guy on it. And I don't care who the old guy is. Sorry to interrupt, but I just want to let you know that I see you. And if you see me and you enjoy this content, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe. So that being said, there's a lot of money to be made by pandering to these people. You can get a lot of views, a lot of engagement by the most animated people on the country. They have the big, the flat Trump flags, all this kind of stuff. So if you want to make money in, 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 in political media, it, you know, a cheap, easy way, just like in the movie, sex and explosion, sex and violence, right? Um, that's going to sell, right? You get some really beautiful women with boobs and have them do sexual stuff and, and you blow stuff up. And that's a formula for you to, to, to sell movie tickets, right? Make that money. Well, for politics, if you're in right wing media, the sex and explosions is MAGA, right? And since he's the guy and you have a large automatic audience, if you, if it's a right wing commentator, you make a video right now saying like Trump's the guy and then and, 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 whatever it is, you, whatever it is that you see MAGA talking about, whatever it is he Trump you know, talking about, if you amplify that, you're going to get views, you're going to get engagement, right? So I'm just saying this to say, if you're a conservative, you need to at least understand the game that's being played, right? This is a reality. I'll leave it up to you to decide who might or might not choose this path. But what I'm saying is factually accurate, right? It is the most profitable approach right now to be MAGA if you're right-wing media, to promote Trump and anything negative about him, to, to you know, whitewash it, or, oh, it's not a big deal, oh, it's just a Democrat, it's a, it's a witch hunt, right? Anything that Trump pushing out, if you're pushing it out, you're gonna get views, you're gonna get engagement, you're gonna get money. So, you have to decide whether these random people on the internet have integrity to say, I'm gonna take less money, right? I'm gonna have less BMWs, right? I'm gonna get a smaller house because I'm so principled that I'm gonna ignore this, like, gold mine of, like, just, you know, tapping into MAGA. You gotta think, if that's what you think, that these random people on the internet, that you think they have in integrity, that they're gonna ignore this, that's on you. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of money to be made by being all, going all in on Trump. And that means anything that's negative about him, you've gotta twist it and, and whitewash it, you know, oh, tr tr try to change the topic. All these types of games is what you would wanna do, right? Some other things that you're gonna wanna do is, not really talk much about the substance, right? So as the trial goes along, I'm sure there's going to be some bombshell uh, things that come out that's going to really make Trump look very bad. It's going to be very incriminating. Um, they would have not brought up this whole charge if they did not feel they had sufficient evidence to win, which means there's going to be some serious, you know, uh, evidence that's going to demonstrate their case, right? If you are a right-wing commentator, you're not gonna wanna talk about this, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is to just smear the whole thing as it's fake, it's a witch hunt, right? So you make a video, oh, this partisan trial, blah, 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 or I'm sorry, people say political. Oh, this political trial, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, it's, it's because Democrats can't win, and da, 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 and, and Joe Biden did the same thing as well, and, and why is it they're going to have to Trump, this is da, da, da. You're gonna talk about everything else except for the substance. You're gonna dance around and avoid that, right? If it's really a witch hunt, then you're gonna focus on the fact that it's a witch hunt, right? You're gonna be following the trial, like as a right-wing commentator, you're gonna be following the trial. You know, every 
every time you know the case is going along, you're like, look, they said this, and da da da, and, and it, you know whatever it is, like, you're going to be exposing how it's a a witch hunt, right? Because that that'll be great content. That will make you a lot of money. If this is really a witch hunt, then demonstrating that will be great money. But if not actually a witch hunt, and you just want to you know pretend that it is, then what you're going to want to do is keep saying it's a witch hunt, but not actually demonstrating how much it's a witch hunt, right? Um, you you might pretend to demonstrate it's a witch hunt, but the way you do that is not with substance, right? You'll just simply say it's a witch hunt, and you'll say, well, no, Joe Biden did the same thing, right? You won't demonstrate how he did the same thing, right? You won't get into the details of it. You might say, well, he took documents and Trump took documents. This is not the documents case, but you know what I mean. You you you, you point out that, but you won't get into the details of. Is he being charged simply because he took the documents? What about the obstructions? Like, you, don't even, you, won't, you won't want to talk about the details. You just want to surface level, right? But the main thing that you want to focus on is saying the words, it's a witch hunt, saying that it's uh, political, whatever, right? That's the main focus. That's what you would do if it's actually legitimate, right? And you want to protect your audience from that uncomfortable truth and therefore, thereby be more profitable, right? Because people, people will watch your content and engage with it if you make them feel good, right? It doesn't feel good to know that you voted for someone who might be... A criminal, right? That's not a good feeling, right? It doesn't feel good to know that on your side, you know, there's, there's a lot of support for someone who might be a criminal. That's not a that's not a, a, a good feeling, right? So, what would be what what people would like to see is for you to show how this is all fake, it's all nonsense, right? So, things you're definitely not going to want to do is you're not going to want to show much video or or transcripts or anything from the trial. Um, you might take one little snippet here and there if there's anything that you can twist in a way that like, oh, see, da 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 da, da right? Obviously, anything at all that, you know, gives a, a hint that this is it's just all, it's all partisan and it's all nonsense, there's nothing there. Anything like that, you're gonna jump on it, right? You're gonna see right-wing media saying stuff and you're gonna, oh, yeah, 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 it's, see, it's nonsense, right? Um, but everything else, you're not gonna wanna talk about, you're not gonna wanna cover, right? If this was televised, you're definitely not gonna wanna cover it live. If you do dare to cover it live, you're gonna talk over the whole thing. Right? You're just not going to want your audience to actually see what's happening, hear what happened, see full transcripts. You just want to let them see the little snippets here and there. That's what you would do if it's partisan, if it's a witch hunt. If it's legit, however, then you're going to want to avoid, again, the substance, right? And just focus on every little trinket you can find to say, oh, it's nonsense, oh, da-da-da, oh, Biden did the same thing. Pay attention. What would make good money is if you can set up a whole narrative of... Basically, try to try to take away the credibility. Like the judges are liberals, and and the, the jury is no good. And and how can he get a good jury in, in Blue City, New York, right? So you know, if he if he if he loses, it's because it's it's all these liberals. Okay. So that that is what I would want to say if I were a dishonest right wing media person. That is how I want I want to pr present this. So if and in fact that he, he if he ends up losing, right? I already gave my audience the setup that, oh, it's just a bunch of liberals, it's a blue city, it's not gonna get a fair case, right? And then when he loses, I just lean in. See, I told you, yeah, the liberal this. And anything that comes out of Breitbart or whatever that says, like one of the ju one of the ju jury was a um, you know, a cousin of Obama or whatever it is, uh, yeah, and apparently this guy, right? I'm gonna lean into that, right? That's that was that's what would make me money. But here's the reality. So that's what that's what that's what would be done. That's what I expect to be done, just based on business model, profit incentives, and so on. But here's the reality. So a, a, a strong talking point is to focus on New York City. It's not going to be a fair um, deal. Let me let you in on the reality of places like New York City. I am in New York right now. Very blue area. Very liberal area. But you know what I don't see? I don't see Obama flags, bumper stickers, anything. I don't see Biden bumper stickers, flags, anything. I can guarantee you a lot of people voted for Biden and they're going to vote for Biden in this area, but I don't see them animated to that degree that, you know, they're promoting it, right? They're not people not promoting Biden over here, right? In fact, wouldn't be hard for me to find some people that have some critiques about Biden. It goes even worse than that. Not even 10 minutes from here, there is a MAGA house. I think I showed it on on the community post. This house has probably like 15 flags, giant flags all over the lawn, on the house, right? In a blue, very blue area in North Jersey, um, a place that I used to live, there was also a MAGA house that was less than five minutes away from where I lived, right? Um, I've seen more than a couple of trucks with Trump flags. Now, it's not a common thing. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, gaslight you. This is not a Trump area. This is a blue area. So you're not going to see a bunch of trucks with the flags, but... I've seen way more than you'd expect. Now, consider that this is a very blue area. Consider that these are the most animated people that are going to have the Trump flags in the Trump house, the MAGA house or whatever, right? Most animated. So 
if they're here, you know there's tons of other people that are in the Trump camp as well, right? Because that's on the most extreme level, flags everywhere, right? And you can have someone who's, you know, maybe one or two flags, right? Not as a, not gonna do a MAGA house, but I, I might have a Trump flag, you know, somewhere. Then you have those who, you know, they're Team Trump, but they're not trying to promote or advertise, they're not wearing no red hats, right? But they're here. On my own block, there's a woman who I suspect is, she's MAGA, right? She's sending me right-wing videos, I think she sent me something about Candace Owens. You should, you should, you should listen to what Candace Owens has to say. This is a white woman sending me a Candace Owens video because um, she thinks that she says something interesting that I might be interested in, in listening to. Um, a lot of the stuff that she's concerned about, a lot of stuff that she talks about, it, it, it sounds like the kind of stuff someone would say who's watching Fox News or right-wing media for sure. Um, she's religious. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know that many people. I haven't been here that long and already on my own block. I think I got a little MAGA lady living there, right? My good buddy from 10 years ago who also lives in New York. Um, well, he doesn't talk to me anymore. He's, that was, I don't know, that's another long story. But anyway, um, he's a Trump guy, <laughs> right? So why do I bring this up? Because the way the criminal trial works, all it takes is one MAGA and it's a wrap. It has to be unanimous, the decision, right? So while they want to talk about on the flip side of, oh, this is a blue area, this is not going to be fair. The reality is that there is a decent percentage of people in the area who are MAGA or people who are at least, you know, they like Trump, right? And all we need is one of them, right? Just one, just one, and Trump wins, right? So that much is in his favor. When you look at, yeah, Trump can't win. I mean, look, they, they won uh, was George Santos in Long Island right there. But, you know, Trump can't win, you know, uh, uh, in New York City. Right. But it's not like there's no votes for Trump in New York City. They're going to get a good amount of votes, man. And I've seen some some MAGA uh, events, protests, whatever. They went out with their flags. I've seen it. Rudy Giuliani's here. You know what I'm saying? So MAGA's here. And MAGA is just on that high level. There's levels. You got MAGA that's way up here, oh, cool, eh? And then you got people that are not so much, not so much, not so much. You know, I'm not into like that, but, you know, Trump seems pretty cool. You know, right? I, I, I don't really like Trump, but I'm not voting for Biden, right? We got all these levels. All we need is one of these people, and Trump wins. So don't let them frame this in a way that makes you think, oh, how can you get a, a fair trial, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm telling you, no matter who gets selected in jury, they're going to try to present them as they're all whatever. Um, someone in the jury, they're going to find some social media post, something like, oh, look, he's Obama. Like, they're not very creative, right? This is what they do. The thing is, will you fall for it? Um, so on the other side, so as far as that's in Trump's favor, but now if we flip it, so all Trump needs is one person on his side. One person friendly, and he's good, right? On the other side, they need everybody to be either objective, right, or to not be pro-Trump, right? So they will frame it as if things are all in the favor of the people against Trump. But the reality is, again, Trump has the easier burden here. One person friendly to him and he wins. The other side, they need everybody, every single, if anybody defects, the whole thing falls apart. Who's got the bigger challenge here? Right? And remember, Trump is from New York. He's from New York. He's a New York Democrat. Right? Changed his party to be a Republican, to scam Republicans into voting for him. Right? Put on the whole pretend to be Christian, pretend to be conservative. Right? But he's from New York. Right? This is New York. So his kind of mentality, right? There's a lot of people in New York that are on, on the same page with him. I'll tell you, even in my job, man, right? I work in a company where, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 a, it's in New York, right? So you think it's all liberals or whatever. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of MAGA or MAGA-friendly people at my job. In New York City, right? My very boss. I don't know if he's MAGA, but he's definitely MAGA friendly. Like he was the one I made a video talking about where I said he was talking about um, how things are so horrible under Biden. And then when I asked him how things are horrible, he couldn't explain it because it's, because they're not, right? He's making a lot of money. He's living a great life, right? I know he's got a nice house. He's got a nice car. 
He gets nice vacations. He's chilling, right? Because Joe Biden favors the status quo. So for someone like my boss who's making good money, status quo is good for you. So Joe Biden will be good for you, <laughs> right? Stock market is breaking records, right? He's making good money. But yet he's like, oh, Biden is horrible, right? So what happens if my boss is in the jury? You don't think that he potentially would be like, no, Trump didn't do anything. So don't let them fool you and think about, oh, you know, New York, you're not going to get a fear or whatever. Listen, there's MAGA here for sure, and it's not a small amount. Liberals, don't think I forgot about you guys. So liberal media is definitely going to want to gas you up and make you think they finally got him. He's going down. He's going to prison. They're going to lock him up. The case is solid. Reality is he's going to get gag orders. He's going to betray the gag orders. And he ain't going to do nothing. They're going to let him do basically whatever he wants to do. And after all of this, it might be a good solid case. There's going to be one MAGA in there that's going to be like, I don't think he's guilty. And then that's it. So very likely he's going to get off. But liberal media is going to want to keep giving you that cope, making you feel like, you know, oh, they're going to get him. They're going to get him. Oh, finally, finally. Don't fall for it. Brian Charlie Cohen is going to make some good money off of you guys and the Lincoln Project. Don't fall for it. And also, if there's someone on the air that's an anti-Trump, whatever, whatever, Trump's people has a chance to kick him off. Right? Whoever ends up being a jury, Trump's people okayed them. Thumbs up. We got no issues. Right? So if Trump's people okayed them, so Trump's people saying, these people are good. Right? So the news media is going to say, oh, it's not fair, and these are a bunch of liberals. But the Trump who... Trust people who actually speak to these people and check them out. And you know they're going to check their social media, whatever, whatever. And after they do that, they say, thumbs up. Don't let the media then come and say, no, nah, these people, they're, they're a bunch of uh, anti-Trump people. Why would Trump's attorneys choose, oh, Trump's attorneys are part of the Never Trump squad as well. Everybody's a fraud except for Trump. Got it. Got him. This is Debate Me Channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button. Subscribe. Smash that bell. Be well.